At the Harvard Natural History Museum, there lies a special exhibit that people travel from all parts of the world to see. An exhibit so striking of life and color that you won't believe that they aren't real. Welcome to the rare collection of Blaska glass models of plants. The glass models were commissioned by Harvard as part of a teaching initiative in the 1800s. The problem with teaching botany in the 1800s was that there weren't exactly models that could withstand the test of time. Studying plants were done on time crunches, and preserved models rarely had the same vibrancy as the real thing. These glass flowers aimed to create models that represented that true vibrancy within plants from all across the world. This collection was created in the span of 50 years by two individuals, just two. The collection was made by Leopold Blaska and his son, Rudolf Blaska. The glass flowers have been on display in the same gallery here at Harvard since the creation of the Botanical Museum in 1890. They've been on continuous display since then. Leopold and Rudolf were ahead of the time, no doubt, innovating and changing the way scientific models were made. But I know what you're probably thinking. It's glass. What if it breaks or shatters? Models, as fragile as they are, will, were built and put together on a pretty solid foundation of wires that were uh, built up, much like you might expect with a branch. Branches were fused together to the, the main stem or the main wire with animal glue and powdered glass. The conservator necessarily has to come in close to the models, which can be daunting. I mean, they are fragile and they, they have a lot of different details. To approach the treatment of the glass models is to do it with, you know, of course, with care. They do have integrity, enough so that you can very carefully know how you're going to move them and the approach you're going You always have to take stock of where you are going to work on the model and not to take the model and its fragility for granted. They really are so real. It's almost as if you, you feel like you could blow on them and the leaves would just go like this. Through the hard work of Scott and Jennifer, these models are available to all Harvard students and faculty, as well as the public. The glass flowers are only available at Harvard, and they stand as a lasting testament to the Blaska's innovations in art, design, science, chemistry, and many other fields. It's incredible that they aren't living plants. Um, so I think, you know, I think people are always amazed by how realistic the models are. I think people are obviously astonished by the Blaska's talent, by their craftsmanship. There are 4,300 models in this collection. They represent 780 plant species, and they were made by Leopold and Rudolf Blaska. They didn't work with assistants or apprentices. You know, just incredible when you think about what the Blaska's produced in the glass flowers. The gallery is like a haven. You've walked into a greenhouse, which is so humid and full of the fragrance of plants. Well, to walk into the glass flowers gallery, you don't get the fragrance, but, you're, but fragrance is suggestive and the visuals are all there. You can see and experience the work collection of Blasco glass models of plants at the Natural History Museum of Harvard.